Hey everybody, Chris with Xano here, and today I want to give a super quick example on how you can update the key names in a list of objects. When you get a response, let's say from an external API, you have your keys, which would be like name and description and date, and then you have your values, which is your actual data. Now let's say you want to utilize something like bulk add records to add a ton of data to your database in one step. However, the problem with that can be that if your keys in the object that you're trying to work through don't match up exactly with your table, then you can't use bulk add records for that. You have to use a loop and that can be a lot less efficient. So I put together a quick example. Hopefully it helps. Let's take a look at what we're doing. So we are calling a, this is just a free API. It's called the Excuser API and it provides various excuses for getting yourself out of certain situations. It's a little silly, but it'll work for this example. So let's first just take a look and see what the response of that API looks like. So right now I'm getting 30 excuses back and you can see the keys in each of these objects. This is an object here. Each of those keys are ID, excuse, and category. Now let's say I want to use bulk add records to add all of these to my database. However, my field name in my database for the excuse is actually reason. So we can't use bulk add records for this. We either have to perform a loop on these results and add each record individually, or we can actually just change the name of this excuse key. So let me walk you through how we're doing that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to establish a couple of variables. The first variable is going to hold our values. We're going to use that in the loop that updates our keys. The second variable that we're establishing is called keys, and these are the keys that we get from that result. So what we do is we use dot notation to just get the first result, and we extract the keys out of it. So let me show you what that looks like, just so that makes sense. Uh, let's do my keys variable here in our stop and debug. So this will stop the function and show us the value of this keys variable. So you can see we have our keys, that's ID, excuse, and category. Now I want to change excuse to reason. How do we do that? We do that with an update variable. Our keys are an array. An array is actually numerically indexed, so each result has a number that corresponds to it, right? That starts at zero. So the first item is zero, the second item is one, the third item is two and so on and so forth. So what we're actually doing is we're targeting number one specifically, which right now is excuse, and we're just updating that to the word reason, okay? So let me show you again what the keys look like now. So just to make it simple, you can think of this as having an ID of one. ID would be zero, excuse is one, category is two, okay? And after our update variable, you can see now we have ID reason and category. So now the only thing left is to actually loop through all of our objects that are coming through this API and update all of those keys. So we're looping through the result of that API, and then we are updating the values variable that we established earlier we're adding the values from the current item that this loop is iterating through. And then we're updating the item variable and we're essentially building a brand new object. We're getting rid of the old one and we're putting in our new one. Our keys are coming from the keys variable that we updated outside of the loop. And then we're using a create object filter to take those keys and smash them together with the values that we get from the previous step we're pretty much done. We have our reconstructed response with our new keys and the same values. So let me show you. Okay, so looking at our original response, we have ID, excuse, and category. And now if we let our loop run, we have ID, reason, and category. And you can see that has populated through every single one of these objects. Now finally, let's add these to our database table. So let's do a add multiple records in bulk. The table is our reasons table. And our objects are going to be this api1.response.result. 
and we'll save that and let's run. Okay, so we get a success, but let's go to our database and take a look. There is our reason in our category from our API. So we've successfully updated the key and we were able to use bulk ad record to store those in our database in one step. Very cool. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.